This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I'm gonna put you guys on some game here. I'm gonna show you the best email app for the iPhone. No, it's not Gmail and no, it's not the Apple Mail app, which by the way, the Apple email app is pretty good, but ProtonMail is the way to go. And I'm gonna explain why. So let's open up the app here. I'm just in my dummy iTouch app reviewers at proton.me account, just because I have my personal email attached to Proton and I really enjoy using it. Almost all my personal email goes through Proton, but let's talk about why I like it so much. We all know that Yahoo and Google, they all love having your email. Gmail used to scan your emails. I don't know if they still do, I think they do. And they would show you ads based on what was in your email, which was kind of an invasion of privacy. I think now they just do it for finding your receipts or finding a reminder for something, which seems helpful. But do you really want Google and Yahoo and Hotmail or whoever you're using to be looking at all your stuff? It's just an invasion of privacy. It's like if someone looked at my mail that comes to my house, like that would just feel weird. Proton, it's always encrypted at rest. So when it's sitting on a server like this on Proton's servers, it's encrypted. And I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, someone looking through my email at Google headquarters, you know, or something like that. Also, the interface is great. Uh, it looks really good. I'm gonna show you dark mode here. I don't do it for the camera, but uh, typically I use this in dark mode. It looks so freaking good. Uh, I'll just show you an email here that pops up. Yeah, dark mode is awesome in Proton. But let's go back to light mode just for the camera because camera likes light mode. But even in light mode, it looks good. Just burns your retinas a little bit, a lot of white but you get pretty much all the same controls of any other app. I mean, you can reply, forward, you can even schedule send messages. It's just a fantastic email application. It alerts you right away. So as soon as I get an email, I can have a push notification or I can have the little icon update. So that's typically what I do. I'll just have, you know, I'll just be looking like this and then I'll see it go up from zero to one and I'll be like, oh, got an email, gotta check it. So I never get any spam to my inbox on Proton. Uh, if I ever do get any, it'll just be to the spam folder, which is pretty rare. I mean, I'll get some every now and then, but compared to Yahoo and Gmail, it's not even close. I get tons to those. And if you're really worried about that, use something like Simple Login, which if you buy a subscription to Proton, you actually can get Simple Login for free to make alias emails. Highly recommend that, but that's a side tangent. I'm talking about the email app. Everything about it is smooth. You can encrypt individual emails. If I send an email from here over to joeschmo at gmail.com, once it hits Gmail servers and it lands in his inbox, Gmail can read it. If I didn't want that, I could just click down here, this little lock icon, set a password and encrypt it. So Gmail can't read that. <laughs> so it's really cool what you can do. You can set vanishing emails. The only downside to this is the free tier only gives you 500 megs of space, which should last most people a long time, but eventually you'll probably want to upgrade. But I'll have a link down below, a special link if you wanna use it. Now, if you do use that link, you get a free month of ProtonMail Plus. So you can try out some of the premium features without having to pay anything. It's basically free for a month. So highly recommend that. The journey from moving from something insecure like Yahoo or Gmail to Proton, it's really not as bad as people think. Just make sure you go claim a good username right now before ProtonMail gets even bigger because they are growing every day. So if you want a specific blah, blah, blah at proton.com, go get it right now and make sure it's available because as time goes on, a lot of people are switching to Proton instead of Gmail. So just keep that in mind. Um, the names are probably gonna go pretty quick, but if you are gonna do that, definitely use the link down below so you get a free month so you can really try it out and see if it's right for you. I think you're gonna like it. I pay for one of the top tiers for Proton Mail, and I really like it. Obviously I have Proton VPN as well. And if you bundle those, you save even more. So the app is just so snappy. It's it's really come a long way. It used to be kind of trash in the old days. It was very slow, clunky, um, but it's really good now. This is my favorite email app. Obviously I still have some of my old email accounts in the typical mail app. Kind of dread opening that app because it's just a little clunkier. And uh, when I get something to Proton Mail, I don't mind getting email. Another cool feature is you can add folders and labels to different emails. So you can really categorize these. I've got like 20 different folders on my main account that I use to categorize a ton of different stuff. It's very helpful. I think I've said enough good things about ProtonMail. At this point, you really just have to try it for yourself. Like I said, links down below. If you like the video, hit the big thumbs up and subscribe. Check out our Proton VPN video. We will have more coming on this hopefully in the future. So stay tuned. Thumbs up, subscribe. Peace.